going on YouTube? It's your boy Cameron, back at it again with a Call of Duty cold sweat video. And guys, sorry for not uploading the last two days. Uh, I just came back to California. Um, I'm, I was super exhausted. I had a lot of work to do. But that's besides the point. I will make it up to you guys. So if you want to see two videos, let's get that liked to 10. Um, if you're new here, subscribe, leave a comment, like the video too. It helps me out a lot. But with that all being said, let's jump up into... The into the video. Guys, the Call of Duty community is fed up. Honestly, they're fed up. I didn't think they had it in them anymore. I really don't think they had it in them. You know, like the whole Twitch Rivals thing, the whole fiasco going on with that, that definitely gave a lot of ammo to people like me and a lot of like people, YouTubers like us who complain about shit. But I think it's a great thing. Honestly, I hope the stress and pressure is on Activision to finally develop an anti-cheat or invest in an anti-cheat. Because to me, it is ridiculous that a billion-dollar company has a game that barely works. And, you know, games from 10 years, 10 years ago work better than this game. <laughs> I think that's just hilarious, honestly. Like, this game is so broken. It's such a mess. Uh, Warzone is also a mess. Like, Warzone was bad before with the hackers, but now it's even worse. It's even worse. Warzone for the last two months has been unplayable. Honestly, it's been a complete train wreck over there. Um, and I think this will really put pressure on people to develop a good anti-cheat. Honestly, I think this will put the pressure on them to do it. And hopefully they do do it. Because I don't honestly know how much longer this can continue. People would start dropping like flies from Warzone if this continues. Because they're fed up with the hackers. Those gold and diamond level lobbies are full of hackers. Activision would rather, you know, protect their top dollar and protect their skill-based matchmaking and their shady patents than do anything to help the game at this point. And it's completely ridiculous. Like, look at that. The skill-based matchmaking works perfectly. The shop works perfectly. But the game doesn't work at all, which is very, very strange. You can clearly see where their priorities are. They just care about making money from the little, from the skins and the anime Belle Delphine skins that these nerds buy. That's honestly what their top dollar is. These sweaty nerds who want to buy anime stuff and the Timmy No Thumbs who want to buy something else. That's their top dollar right there, bro. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic to see where Call of Duty has come, man, honestly. The Call of Duty community before this moment was completely full of betas, dude. Like they're celebrating cheaters like that guy Symphony. That guy is the biggest hacker in this freaking community, bro. <laughs> That guy is such a hacker, bro. Every single clip he posts that I see, I'm like, this guy is cheating, man. <laughs> He's blatantly doing it. He's like shooting people through walls. He's pinging people through walls. His FFAR has zero recoil. Like, this guy is clearly a cheater, bro. <laughs> I would die on that hill of calling this guy a cheater. I will. I will honestly die on it. And I don't care about that stupid argument of, oh, he's baiting people, man. He's just baiting people, bro. He's just doing that to get views, man. Like, dude, you're an idiot if you think that. You're honestly a smooth brain. You're a smooth brain if you think that. I'm sorry. You're, you're stupid. That's it. That, the best. I'm trying to clean my videos up to get them like recommended a little bit more. But you're stupid. If you believe that, you are completely an idiot. You have to get checked or tested for some kind of disorder because if you think that this guy is not cheating, you are completely moronic. He's shooting people through walls, man. I saw a video yesterday. He shot this guy through a wall. He blazer beamed him with the FFAR and then sniped this other guy through a wall. He couldn't even see the guy. He didn't even have a heartbeat sensor. He shot him through a wall. <laughs> the guy is for sure cheating, man. And he's getting celebrated, too. Like, people love this guy. All the little kids are like, yeah, Symphony, you're my idol, man. I can't wait to be like you. I'm Symphony, oh my gosh. Like, all the little kids are, like, jerking this guy off. And it's super beta male and super pathetic. All these guys who are, like, subscribed to, like, 10 different OnlyFans accounts and drop 50 grand on Alinity and Pokemon. Like, these guys are losers, bro. <laughs> like, back then, dude, if there was a guy cheating like this, we would have, like, shunned him from the community. Like, look at like Wings of Redemption and, like, G-Unit 1, 2, 3. Like, that's what happened to this cheating nerd. 100%. 110% that would happen to him. <laughs> Honestly, it's completely whack, dude. These Twitch streamers are the worst thing for a game. They are. I think Twitch, in general, has just made some... Really bad culture around video games. 
honestly, TTV and all this stupid, sweaty nerd stuff, it's really made a big, bad culture around video games. And they've made them very, very unenjoyable, honestly. Because you have this sweaty nerd thinking he's going to be the next symphony, yeah! Um, jumping around corners, bunny hopping, booty sliding, drop shotting. But I would tell you something like this, kid. People watch you for your freaking personality and if you're enjoyable and have enjoyable commentary al- along with decent to good gameplay. You know, that's why people watch you, bro. People, when these sweaty nerds, bro, they're boring to me. They're so boring. They have, like, no personality. They never say anything. They just speak in, like, virginese, and it's just annoying. Like, the guys of the wind is blowing to 23 degrees west. Uh, I'm sniping. Uh, I'm pushing. I am drop shotting. Like, it's, like, really, really whack. It's, like, pathetic to watch. <laughs> I'd rather just watch somebody crack jokes over Call of Duty and have a good old time with their viewers, personally. That's just my cup of tea. But, I don't know, man. That, that was that small rant out of the way. But, it appears that the Call of Duty community has finally gotten some balls and is now standing up for what they believe in, thank God. Um, finally, man. <laughs> finally. I hope to God that Activision can really do something about this. I, they probably won't. They're still not going to develop an anti-cheat, but the pressure is certainly on them. I definitely think that the pressure is really, really on them, and the public eye is on them, because Warzone is such a big game, and it reaches so many people, if they were to lose that, Call of Duty would fail horribly, if they lost Warzone, nobody would care about Call of Duty anymore, because the multiplayer is garbage, nobody gives a shit about the multiplayer, look at all the big Fortnite, Twitch streamers, oh my god, Tiffany, Nick Merckx, look at all those big guys, they all play Warzone, they don't even touch multiplayer, man, I haven't seen those guys play multiplayer ever, Maybe like the first week they'll play it, and then they'll never play it again. But it's ridiculous, man. Nobody plays multiplayer. It's dead. It's deader than a freaking cemetery, dude. Right. So everyone's playing Warzone. So if Activision were to lose their top dollar due to their neglect of an anti-cheat and a neglect of the community's wants, I definitely think we could put the pressure on them. I really think we could put the pressure on them with the public eye now on the anti-cheat, now on how bad the skill-based matchmaking is and all that stuff. I definitely think we can bring the thunder, guys. Um, what do you guys think about this, bro? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think the Call of Duty community like has lost its way, kind of like me? Or do you think there's a shred of hope for the Call of Duty community, man? Because I definitely think, you know, they surprised me standing up to the whole anti-cheat stuff, standing up for it and demanding it and being like, this Twitch, this Twitch thing is unacceptable it really is to be honest like i'm not big into professional gaming or anything like that but for the people who do enjoy that and the people who do make money through that it's kind of unfair to them and completely whack that they can't even do that because the anti-cheat is so bad and and tournaments are full of hackers like that's that's unacceptable bro that is the worst thing i've ever heard that is an that is awful for a billion dollar company that is a horrible news like i don't know why you could just make an anti-cheat and you'll make even more money. You know that, right, Activision? If you make an anti-cheat, more people will be more happy and they'll spend money on your game, tell other people about the game, and they'll enjoy it more. Because the hackers have gotten to a point where it's unplayable. You cannot play this game. It's legitimately awful. But with that all being said, this is your boy Cameron. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.